There's a sense of desperation about Stephen Partners these days, as if he feels time is running out. And so it is. Something I should know. I've recommended his transfer back to Earth. You might have discussed it with me first. I might, but it's my decision. There doesn't seem a lot of point in having a psychiatrist if you don't use her. Point taken. Why are you getting rid of him? To begin with, criminal irresponsibility. He made those explosives for Laubenthal. You gave him an official reprimand. Well, he's not producing results. He promised wonders for this mineralogy project of his, and so far, nothing. Shall I give you one more reason? Hmm? You don't like him. Well, you don't, do you? Well, not that it's influencing my judgment, but I can't stand the man. Well, you're not alone. Most people find him hard to take. Except for Peter Conway. Hmm. Which brings us back to the other subject of your intuition. Dr. Conway? Dr. Conway? It's ready, Dr. Conway. It is. There it is. Gravity off, Robert. two isotopes already. We're sitting on top of a gold mine. I can see shells piled high with Nobel Prizes. I do have a project of my own, you know, Stephen. Yes, of course. Listen, Peter, I've got to get on with it before I'm replaced. Replaced? My face doesn't fit. You know that. Call the hits my guts. Ever since I made those charges for old Loudon told it been gunning for me. What do you say? When can I load the charging hopper? Hey, <laughs> steady on. Let's see how this lot goes first. We'll give it about two hours. Great. Thanks again. gentle on the outside, but there seems to be some kind of struggle deep down. Sometimes his work's the only thing in the world, and sometimes it just doesn't matter. Just a simple manic depressive, then, eh? Up and down, like the rest of us. It doesn't go up and down so much as away. 
little further every day. Anything show on his PSR tests? Nothing significant. All stresses within normal, acceptable limits. Highly intelligent, strongly motivated. Well? I don't trust tests as much as I used to. <laughs> You're a wise girl. Okay. I'll have a chat with him. It's just that I'm worried about him. Professionally or personally? <laughs> What are you planning to do with all that rock and under partners? Build a bunny club, whatever. Now that's putting science in some real use. And you can put yourself in some real use, McAdam, by servicing that hopper that keeps seizing up. Oh. Oh, uh, Dr. Partners, I'd like a word with you. Fire away, Tom. You've been overloading the hopper trains again. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Tom. We're on the crest of a wave. I'm, I'm a bit impatient, that's all. Yeah, I'll say. You chat up my lads, and before we know what's hit us, the hoppers are bursting at the seams. I don't know what I can do about that, Tom. Just keep out of my hair, that's all. Dr. Partners. Will you be using the reactor again? I hope so, why? Ah, then I would be much obliged if you would attend to the unloading and closing down the reactor yourself. Uh, that's your pigeon, isn't it? No, Dr. Partners, it is not maintenance and routine servicing, yes. But the regulations look, specifically look, look, state... Look, 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 What is this, Persecute Partners Week? I'm sorry. Look, I'm close to a big discovery and I'm in a hurry. I can't do all the fiddling little routine jobs myself. I'll just have to leave the dustpan and brush bit to you, OK? Showed me the world, and it was so full and rich and exciting. He made me use my eyes and see things for what they really are. Was he a religious man? Yes, I suppose in his way he was. The kingdom of heaven, he had it about him all his life. He took it with him everywhere he went and he shared it with everyone he met. How did you become attracted to science? And of all things, metallurgy. Ibsen. Ibsen? Yes, you remember that play that Borkman said he wanted to free all the unborn metals of the earth and put them to the service of man. Well, it made sense then. Then? Doesn't it now? Some of the time. Most of the time, even. When the work's going well. There's poetry and music and science, too, you know. Yes, I know. Then there are other times. Times when I feel I don't want to go on in the brave new world of cold scientific progress. Times when I want the moss on the wall. I want the foolish meandering alleys of beautiful old cities. Everyone's so keen to pull down. I could see that a tap for water is a great convenience, but something went out of the world when we stopped going to the communal well. You really are a romantic, aren't you? Is that bad? On the contrary, I like it. Oh, Helen, there has to be more than just scientific truth. Spinoza tried to prove the existence of God by theorem. A equals B, B equals 2, A equals 2, 2 plus 2 equals 4, QED, God exists. <laughs> I think it's the funniest book I've ever read. Truth can be intuitive. The existence of whatever. 
cannot be seen, cannot be measured, can only be sensed. You see, I didn't even know what to call it. But Mozart knew all about it. Make love, not science. I have to get back. Damn it, I have a right to use the reactor. This is a legitimate piece of research. When I have that element refined, I know it'll work. It's my right! I've studied Dr. Partners' findings and the conclusions he's drawn. I don't altogether subscribe to them, but that's beside the point. If he's to have exclusive use of the reactor, it'll hold back this entire department's work. But we're on the brink of a tremendous breakthrough. Surely you can see that. Since Dr. Partners isn't going to be here with us for very much longer, I think it's only fair that he should be given the facilities he needs. You're the director? Yes, I am. You can have the reactor for eight days starting tomorrow. Right? Thank you. Uh, Stephen? Good luck. Is it beautiful? I can't make up my mind. Sometimes it simply seems frightening. Oh, no. It is beautiful. Peace of eternity. Out there is the music of the spheres. The great silence. Sometimes I think it's the only reason for being on the moon. To experience that. The great silence. Why are you here? To hold my hand? David wants to see you when you're free. Found the critical mass yet? Do you know something? I think I have. Uranium's got nothing on this. This is going to knock them back on their heels. When can I have the last of my stuff from your stupor? It's waiting for you now, should be cool. I stayed up half the night for you, Steve, so you owe me a long drink. Thanks, Steve. You're a friend. that this research has been pretty expensive. Yes, I know. I wonder why you let it through. Because I'm gambling on you coming up with the answer. We need a success about now, Peter. Too much going wrong. Too much expense. Too little to show for it. You just define scientific research. Ah, we know that. But the council are worried about the size of our appropriations. They're sending Hauser up for a little look round. Now, I'd like to have something spectacular to show him. Well, I can't promise you that, David, but it is on the cards. If I can force the cryogenic gas into the cooling chamber at sufficiently low temperature and at supersonic speed, why, I'm home and dry. Good. Uh, nightcap? Oh, yes, please. Uh, your lab reports show that uh, Stephen Partners has been using a lot of your converter time. Is that okay with you? Yes, I gave permission. You weren't conned into it? Well, maybe just a little bit. <laughs> But I really think Steve's onto something this time, David. Maybe he'll come up with your something spectacular. Mm. I'd like to think you're right. None of my business, I know, but uh, it's always puzzled me, you two being friends. Oh, why should it? You haven't got much in common, have you? More than you'd think. In a sense, you see, we're both outsiders. Cheers. Cheers. Ah. 
Um, Peter, uh, everything's all right, is it? I mean, no problems, apart from the work. Why should there be? No, oh, no, no. Just checking. You've been talking with Helen Smith about me by any chance? Well, it is her job. The woman's a professional warrior. No, I'm sorry, David. It's preoccupied with the project, that's all. You know how it is. Oh, don't I just. I remember when I first started work in radio astronomy. Oh, man, I was obsessed, I can tell you. <laughs> Listening for quasars in my sleep. Sorry. Call now. Dr. Hauser is scheduled to leave Earth tomorrow, sir, at 0900 hours. Uh. All cleared for liftoff on schedule. A satellite reports all go, sir. Thanks, Rago. Yeah, there we are then. Degrees up to Conway. Right. Open the bell hopper, Robert. does on his way. Now, Tom, when his shuttle arrives, I want the quickest turnaround in the history of space flight. Huh? So warn ramp control, will you? Don't worry, David. We'll have him on his way back before he knows he's here. Right. I wanted to see that everybody on the base realizes the importance of this visit. Now, naturally, I'm not suggesting any form of deceit. All but staff have been warned to take a positive attitude, particularly in regard to answering questions. And well, my men are running around with fixed grins, polishing everything in sight. <laughs> good, good. Right. See you all at the reception, then. Oh, um, Helen, you got a minute? Mm. I had a word with Peter Conway a while ago. And? Well, he seemed all right to me. Cheerful, alert, full of his work. So you think I'm fussing about nothing? Well, mind you, he did kind of drift off before we'd finished talking. And he did say something rather odd. About him and partners both being outsiders. Did he now? Mm. Oh, talking about Stephen Partners. Yeah? He's working like a maniac, trying to redeem himself by success. Yeah, quite right, too. I hope he makes it. We can do with all the successes we can get. And supposing he doesn't make it? He'll survive. Brash, hard and sensitive, is that it? He's not what he appears to be, you know. <laughs> is anyone? Yes. You are, I think. It's one of your strengths. Not much energy wasted in defences. I suppose I can take that as a compliment. Magnification. 
54,000. has worked and, and, and the process can be reproduced on earth it can oh you beauty Peter you may really just have saved our bacon now you sure you completed all basic Easy. tests oh, I'm sorry yes yes of course you have oh what wonderful timing Peter we lay on a full demonstration for friend Hauser of course oh what with you and partners Stephen well I mean didn't he tell you Oh, well, yes, you're both working so hard. I mean, uh, no, he's finally found his new fuel. Merobdium, he's calling it. Complete success in all tests. Good. Good. No, I really am pleased. Not half as pleased as he is. I'm sure. <laughs> Peter, would you like to go back on the returning ship to Earth? You've earned some extra leave. I'd okay it. No, no, Director. If you'll forgive the expression, what on Earth would I do on Earth? All right, suit yourself. But let me know if you change your mind. Oh, two major scientific breakthroughs, eh? That was all the penny pinches. Ignition minus 25 seconds on my mark. Mark. Mark 25. Our translation force is balanced. Couple on. TA throttle auto. CDR stop button. Reset stop button. Check abort to abort stage reset. PGNS mode control is set. AGS is reading 400 plus one. 10 seconds to ignition. Mark. Good, Miniver. Nice and easy now. Good for us too, Moon Base. How are you? Altitude 10,000. 8,000. 6,000. Velocity now 650 meters per second. Approaching 5,000 meters, Minerva. Bring her in, Wally. You are clear for landing, Minerva. Coming down now. 2,000. 62 degrees. Coming down at 19. 500, down at 17, 400, 300, 250, 200, 100, everything fine. Slight drift left. Correcting, three forward. Lights please. Down one and a half. Three forward, three forward. Easy. Picking up a little bit of dust. Contact light on. Engine stop. ACA out of detent, descent engine command override off, engine arm off. That's it, Moonbase. Get the coffee on. <laughs> Will do, sir. Welcome to Moonbase. Uh, this is Calder. Nice landing, Captain. But would you report to control before your coffee, please? And all relief personnel report to Dr. Lebrun as soon as possible with their documents. Welcome to Moonbase 3. Hello, Molly. Bring me that crate of scotch. Did I forget? You're in for a shock. You know how much that stuff costs these days? Hey, Hauser. Dr. Calder, I am glad to see you again. It's a pleasure to have you here, sir. Thank you. When you finish a big piece of work, well, everything goes a bit flat, you understand? So you diagnose a simple case of post-research depression. Yeah, that's it. Well, maybe you're right. 
I tell you something, you can stop worrying about your other little lamb, Stephen Parkness. Top of the world he is. When's his demonstration due? In five minutes. Wish him good luck for me. I'll tell you something else. If his demonstration is half it's cracked up to be, you won't see our Stephen creeping modestly away to avoid the compliments. I suppose not. I mean, he's bad enough now, isn't he? With a major success under his belt. Oh, Let him oh. have his moment of glory. He's worked hard for it, and he needs it. Peter Conway doesn't. There you are, caller. I wanted a few words with you before we go down to see what Dr. Partner says to offer. Dr. Smith, you look more beautiful every time I see you. Thank you, Herr Hauser. If you'll excuse me, perhaps I'll see you after the demonstration. Of course. A very charming and beautiful woman. You're fortunate, Calder. We are due in nuclear physics in four minutes. It is about your appropriations I wish to speak. The cost of your current research program. Mm. For instance, this metal-forming process of Dr. Conway. Ah, yes, indeed. Now, that really is something. No need to tell you the value of formed metal, strong, light, I mean, its application in space technology alone. No doubt. But why could these experiments not have been carried out on Earth at a fraction of the cost? Because it was impossible to form metal effectively on Earth where the gravity is a full 1G. It was only here on the Moon in 1-6 gravity that it was possible to begin to study the problem. So, what use to the Earth is the process which can only be carried out on the Moon? On Earth it's impossible. Was impossible. By perfecting and studying the process here, Dr. Conway discovered that certain molecular changes occur. He is now able to reproduce those changes in one gravity with the use of chemical boosters. The metal will form on Earth for very different reasons, but it will form. Now, shall we go and take a look at Stephen Parkinson's new fuel? One must allow it to reach full output for measuring its results, which I'm confident will be satisfactory, if not immediately spectacular. Uh, we have a standard venting fission pile with graphite bond rate or so. I've used our standard fuel rods, charged them with pellets of amrobdium in its basic 320 state and 327 isotope. Incidentally, my calculations will be available for you in print in the next day or so. Finally, I've substituted our normal cadmium control rods for the later boron variants. Have you been able to assess fission byproducts such as strontium-90, for example? Yes, sir. And in general, there are no unwelcome byproducts. Well, I think the pile should be fully operative now, gentlemen. Uh, would you be good enough to operate the main switch, sir? Oh, I think the honor should be Dr. Partners. Yes. <laughs> One hundred and twenty kilowatts, that's terrific. I fear to share your excitement. Surely uranium would produce hundred and fifty kilowatt in this mini reactor. Uh, yes, sir, that is so. But Borobdu, even at this early stage, is doing almost as well at less than one third of the fuel cost. How can you be so sure? Your Morobdium will have to be carried back to Earth. In a nuclear tug, fueled with Morobdium, it pays its own way, doesn't it? Yes. I see, of course. Dr. Partners, you have to be congratulated. We all realize, of course, how necessary it is to consider scientific progress. But it is refreshing to find a scientist who also is concerned with economy. <laughs> well, I think the Council should recognize that Moon Base 3 is a wise investment that will in time repay its costs manifold. With Dr. Conway's foam steel and Dr. Partners' new fuel, I'd say we were earning our keep. I hope, Dr. Corley, your hopes will be fully justified. Certainly, I am most impressed with what I've seen today. Dr. Partners? Thanks, sir. I think that a celebration's in order. And that includes all of you, of course. Oh, yes. Gracias, Director. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Director, but uh, I really ought to clear up here. I think I ought to start closing down the reactor. Uh, do that later. After we've toasted your success in some real earth whiskey. <laughs> yeah, how's that? Dr. Conway. Hello, Juan. I hope you don't mind me using your telescope. As a matter of fact, I do mind. Do you realize I have a heavily booked rotary system? My people resent it if their routines are disturbed. Yes, of course, I understand. I did check the book. 
There seems to be nobody down for the half an hour. No, so. no, 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 no. Stay till the next booking. Why not? No, thank you, Juan, but I must go. Dr. Conway, may I ask what you are studying? It is possible that I can help oh, you. Oh, I wasn't studying anything, Juan. Just looking. Just looking. What does he mean, just looking? How can anybody just look? There you see. Nothing has been done. Nothing. Now, this time, I'm going to make a formal complaint. Well, what do you want me to do about it? And please remember what you saw and endorse my report. Will you do that? Yes, I suppose so. Thank you. Nonsense. One more small one won't harm you. To my robbed you. Look, I really must be getting back to the lab. There's always quite a lot to clear up after these experiments. I don't want to leave it all to the lads. They've got quite a lot on their plates already. If you'll excuse me. Not only brainy, but also conscientious. Many men wouldn't think of such things at a time like this. No. No, they wouldn't, would they? Uh, you can leave that now, Bruno. I'll clear up my own mess for once. And there's a lot to clear up, isn't there, Dr. Parkinson? I see. Look, Bruno, you have to understand the pressure that I'm under. I'm being pushed for results. I just did it to buy some time. How did you hope to get away with it? I mean, eventually you'll have to produce results. And I will, in a week or two, or maybe less. Providing I go along with your fraud. Bruno, I know you've got no reason to do me any favors, but if you go running to call her now, that's my life and my career down the drain. And, and worse than that, you'll be harming the whole of Moon Base 3. Who would I? Well, everything in the garden's rosy now. All horses going back to Earth, filled with the scientific genius of Moon Base 3. If any of this comes out, you'll close the base. Well, I haven't got anything else to say. I'm going to go back to the party, I suppose. Think it over, that's all I ask. Bruno Ponti here. Please ask Tom Hill to meet me in the reactor room. Tell him it's urgent. According to my survey, there's no evidence. You mine it up here, send it down to Earth by nuclear space time. You've got yourself a cheap fuel that'll last pretty well forever. Well, I'll drink to that. Uh, gentlemen, uh, I'm informed that there is a fault in the Bentic reactor. I'm afraid that for the moment we must discount Dr. Partness's findings. I apologize, Ayerhauser, but it would be a mistake to accept the figures as they stand. Would you come with me to my office? Oh, another drink here, has it? Mm. Well, Dr. Partness, if you have an explanation, I'm waiting to hear it. I see. Ordinarily, one would pity the man who is forced to steal rather than the man who is stolen from. But you have attempted to steal from science itself. I'm going to cover up this hoax for the sake of the base and your colleagues. You will return on the shuttle after next. I don't want you traveling with Hauser. Now get the hell out of here! Hey, Steve. Congratulations. Your demonstration was a great success. <laughs> That's a laugh. That's really a laugh. You've lost me. Dr. Stephen Partners, nuclear magician, expert in scientific sleight of hand, and first-class Fernie. But I don't understand. It was magnificent. Far better than anybody could expect. Damn it, it was as good as uranium. 
It was uranium. I faked the whole thing. Do you hear what I said? I faked it. I'm a phony. But you don't seem very surprised. I wondered when you didn't come and tell me about your breakthrough. Steve, I'm sorry, really. Sorry? What in the hell for? Sorry you had to do it. I only faked the damn thing because of Calder. He was trying to impress that fool Hawser. I just didn't have the time. Another few weeks and I'll have it licked. I know it. Well, you believe that, don't you, Pete? I know it's on the cards. Well, you know it too. You've seen the figures. Yes, I believe you. It's got to work out. There has to be a critical mass. Another two weeks, three maybe. I know I'll be home and dry. I mean, you can't make history in five minutes, can you? You know, Steve, I envy you. You what? You've had a setback, sure. But you'll survive it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And it's still important to you. Success, fame, your name on the Nobel Prize. You still want it all. And you don't? Not really. So you see, I'm a cheat too, in my way. Now you've lost me, Jim. They're misfits, Steve. Outsiders. You don't belong. It's time we got out. I'm going to be out soon anyway, like it or not. You just want the big coconut. What have you got to worry about? Nothing. Nothing at all. If you like, I'll have a word with Calder. Oh, no, that's my job. Sure. Yes, I'll go and see him when he's cooled down. He let me have another crack at it. Yeah. Well, I hope so. Bye, Steve. Yes. Hauser knows something's up. He's a wily old bird, but I think he'll turn a blind eye. Felice has got the news of the new metal filling process to take back. Yeah. Really saved our bacon, that boyfriend of yours. Peter Conway is not all right to write. Only joking. Social visit? I want you to give Stephen Partners another chance. No. If you throw him out now, he'll be finished. If I don't, we'll all be finished. The man's a menace. David, please. Now, don't try and do my job for me, woman. Stephen Park is a lost cause. Come in. Excuse me, Draco. Hello, Smith. Look. I know I shouldn't have pulled a fast one. But I needed the time, and I didn't know how else to get it. I want to have another go at it, sir. No. Right, Charlie. Then. Shan't bother you again. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed that. I think I'll go and watch lift off from flight control. You too? Just making sure that Hauser actually leaves. Any problems? No, everything's fine. 
T-minus 1 minute 45 seconds. GNN check complete. 1 minute 25 seconds and counting. Abort transfer complete. 50 second mark. Transfer complete. Tanks pressurized. 30 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance internal. 12, 11, 10, 10 9, 8, ignition sequence 7, at 6, 5, 4, ignition, 3. David, I'm no, sorry if I... Sure, sure, sure. Me too. Let's forget all about it, yes. Yes, Tom. Has anyone authorized a special exit for any personnel? No, Tom. No one outside. Well, somebody just went out right in the middle of liftoff. Stephen Partners, it must be. Uh, Tom? I called her. Any idea who it is? I haven't a clue, but I've sent someone to check. Well, you better get a party suited up. Whoever it is, I want him back. No, if you start right chasing him now, you'll panic. Well, keep the party on standby for the moment then, Tom. You're the boss. I'll go and talk to Peter Conway. Stephen will listen to him. Is there something I should know? Peter? Peter? Peter, are you there? Can't you find him either? Stephen! Stephen, come here. It is the coming of a new age in which I have no place. The new truths are not my truths. I think I am the perennial dodo. I belong to a thing like Athens, the mother of a mode of life which shall renew the youth of the world. A thing like Nazareth, Change is a delusion. It is of new things that men tire, of fashions and proposals and improvements. It is the old things that are forever young. I have no place here. It is time to leave. Partners is still inside. It's Peter who's missing. He's not in his room or the lab. But Henry he could be anywhere on the base, and we don't know that it this is Peter out there. This was open on his desk. Moon base. This is Earth shuttle. No transients at the mode change. Beautiful ride so far. Ready with that test when you are. Michelle. Go ahead, Minerva. Moon base standing by to copy. Roger. We think it's Peter Conway out there on the surface. This is PG in his. Now, where can I contact him without letting the whole base know? Observatory. Right. You come with us. Moon base calling Dr. Conway. Come in, please, Dr. Conway. Moon base calling Dr. Conway. Come in, please, Dr. Conway. Have you got any ideas? He said something about us both being misfits, that it was time to get out. Moon base calling Dr. Conway. Dr. Conway, come in, please. I have a director for you. Moon base calling Dr. Conway. Dr. Conway, come in, please. I have a director for you. He just won't answer, sir. Have you got a fix on him? Not accurately, but he seems to be about two kilometers to the southwest, around bearing 227, I could estimate. You hear that, Tom? On our way. One. Can you get me a picture on any of the remotes? I will try. There he is.
Dr. Lebrun? Yes, Bruno? I've been checking. He's only got a 15-minute pack. Thank you, Bruno. He's been out there over 10 minutes already. Tom's boys will reach him soon with the buggy. If it's not too late. It's already too late. Just looking, Michel. Peter! Switch it off! He took off his helmet. I don't understand. He just wanted to listen. Come in. Great. I won't keep you a moment. Just drafting my regular report to the council. Wretched paperwork. Mind if I read you a bit? Go ahead. Sorry to report accidental death of Dr. Conway. Faulty neck seal on his spacesuit. Particularly tragic in view of his recent successes in perfecting new method of metal foaming to be known as the Conway process. Further setback when Dr. Partness' experiments with his new fuel were invalidated by a fault in the reactor. However, the fault has now been remedied Dr. Partners is continuing his work and is confident of success in the near future. You better make sure that that part comes true. I don't know what to say. Hanks doesn't even cover it. I'm not doing it for you. I had faith in Conway and he had faith in you. Now get out before I change my mind. I wouldn't have had it happen this way, though. I'm going to miss O.P. You won't be the only one. 